Hey guys, Zubiker here. I'm going to show you how to make decent looking lightning bolts. You can go further than this tutorial if you want to. I'm only going to do the basics. So here you have the final product. Let's make a new file. Not going to save that one. We're going to make the file about 750 by 750. If you want a lightning bolt going down the whole picture, you should probably make it a little bit bigger than your uh, original picture size. So 750 by 750, 72, and okay. Let's get rid of this lock. We're going to delete the background so it's transparent for now. And those little black squares means it's transparent for me. Okay, we're going to go to the gradient tool. We're going to make sure we have the black and white gradient tool. I'm going to hit D on the keyboard for the shortcut for default foreground color and background. And let's just drag from the top left corner, hold shift to the bottom right. Now we have a basic gradient. We're going to do filter, render, difference clouds. Now it looks like we have a whole bunch of nothing here. We're going to do invert, control I or image adjust invert. Now we're going to take this inverted image and we're going to level use the level. We're going to drag the little black tab right here all the way to the right. And there's the beginning of our lightning bolt. You can change it a little bit to your needs or wants. For right now we're just going to do that. We're going to merge down to keep the uh, keep it this way without a layer mask. Now we're just going to copy, cut, small part of this, once that's done right click, layer via cut, going to delete the old picture, now let's move this to the center of the screen, I'm going to use the magic wand tool, uncheck contiguous and select the black Maybe go to 10. I don't know. 13 is fine. And now we're going to hit delete. Deselect. And now we have this big blob over here. New, normally that doesn't come up, but we can get rid of that. We'll just erase it for now, right now. Okay, big blob's gone. Now we're going to take this image and put it in the center. In the final image, you can put clouds up here. Right now, we'll just imagine some clouds because this is a tutorial on lightning bolts. Now we're going to do that last method again, but we're going to have little lightning bolts coming off. I'm going to name this Bolt 1. And we're going to create a new layer named New Bolt gonna hide bolt one and we're gonna do use the gradient method. In the last lightning bolt we used we went from top left to top right that creates a bigger gradient which will result in this type of difference clouds where they're all over the place. Let's go back a few spaces. Now we'll go from the middle top left to the middle bottom right and the gradient is smaller. Filter, render, and difference clouds. Now it's restricted to the center of the screen. We're going to invert it, control I. Levels. And now we don't have as many lightning bolts all over the place. Looks a little neater. Okay, we're going to do this a couple of times and I'll come back and I'll show you the results of collecting four or five more lightning bolts. Okay, we're back. I created four more, making a total of five lightning bolts all over here. Bolt one through five, and they're just all over the screen. So I'm going to sort through them. I'm going to pick my best bolt, what I think is the best. I think number one is. Oh. So we're going to take the move tool. 
and we're going to position it in the center. You'd want the bottom hitting the ground of the picture and the top meeting the sky. So I think the angle right now is perfect. Right there. A little slanted. Now we're going to take a second bolt. Let's do number two. And we want to make it a tiny bit smaller. Hold shift, drag the corner in a little bit. And I don't really want my bolt to be that long, so I'm going to erase half of it, enlarge it. Just get rid of that. Okay, so it's a little bit shorter. I'm going to change the position of it. Maybe flip it around. And position it attached to the main bolt. Now I'm going to take a third bolt and we're going to do the same thing. Whoops. Control Z. We're going to position it, to rotate it. I'm going to have this one coming off a little bit lower. And I want it to almost touch the ground. I have to erase some of it. Oh, miss some. Okay. Now when I erased it, it created a point, which looks more realistic to me. You don't have to do that. Okay, now we're going to take our fourth point, and we're not going to put this one on the main bolt which would be the first one, number one, right here. We're going to make it come off one of the two. I'm going to make it come off of three, which is right here. I'm going to make it smaller. And I'm going to erase a little bit off of it. A little bit more. Okay. Now we're going to move it onto here. Rotate it however you want it. Okay, now we have four bolts on this one main bolt. And we're going to add a fifth one in. You can position this one wherever you want it. I'm going to position it right off of this one right here. That looks like a hook. Make it a lot smaller. erase part of it and I'm going to alter the way that it's pointing a little bit enlarge that and okay it's perfect and you have your lightning so far. Now you can merge these at this, or no, no don't merge these yet. We're going to change the blending mode to light color on all of them so that you can't see where they meet. Well, at least. Light color. Okay, now you're going to take the main bolt, which I chose is number one. Yours could be two, three, four, and whatever. And you're going to duplicate it. Hold Alt. Oh, shit. What'd I do? Oh, you're going to hold Alt and drag it down to copy it. Filter, blur, Gaussian, blur. I'm going to set mine to 2.5. And it kind of looks like the lightning bolt's now glowing. It's going to come in handy later on not too far, like two seconds. Now we're going to do hue and saturate. I'm going to put that at the very top. And colorize. And now pick a color that you'd like. I chose blue because it kind of looks like electricity a little bit. Choose whatever fits in with your picture. You can lighten it or darken it. Right about there. It looks pretty realistic. Uh, that's all I'm going to show you right now. You can add anything you want into the picture later. Thanks for watching.